Ain't it? Ain't it? Ypsilanti is in the house. Ann Arbor is in the house. Oh. <laughs> Detroit in the house. Oh, we got a problem. We got more for Detroit than we got Ypsilanti. Hey, I ain't thing, like, man. I'm not liking it. Hey, Johnny, Mr. Johnny Lawrence. Mr. Johnny Lawrence, can you come to the center of the stage right here? Mr. Johnny, where are you? Mr. Johnny. Can I get everybody's attention for a moment? Give it up for this man. Give your hands together for Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> Mr. Johnny. Mr. Johnny. I got to read something to you. This was given to me, okay? Can I get y'all's attention? Mr. John, on behalf of WJZD Radio and the community, we would like to thank you. As everyone knows, it takes a lot to put on a jazz event of this magnitude. Johnny Lawrence series of 1923 took just that. I just want to go on record for those who know and those that don't. Now, these ain't my words. Those words are from Corey. This event was put on out of love for the community, love of the arts, love of education of Mr. John giving back. Mr. John, that's what he calls you. Mr. John E. Lawrence has been an educator, a mentor, a community leader, an artist, a big brother, all out of love. Mr. John, you have been putting on this event for more years than I can remember, and I know that is not free and I appreciate you for all you do in the community. No matter what sponsor you come up with or resources you manage to, even if you have to use your own money to make it happen because of love for the community, love of the arts and music. Never, never has so many owed so much to so few, Mr. John. So thank you, Mr. John, your community. Thank you, Johnny. Y'all give it up for Mr. John E. Lawrence. Y'all can do better. Right? Give it up for Mr. John E. Lawrence. It's seven. You want to do that one more time and then I bring them on? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Are they ready? They ain't ready. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to read this one more time. Our major sponsor is Washtenaw County Government. Ann Arbor Community Foundation is a platinum sponsor. Super Tracks Recording Company, Destination Ann Arbor, those are our diamond sponsors. Rick Star, Downtown Development Association, OHM, University of Michigan Credit Union, those are our pearl sponsors. Bank of Ann Arbor, Hinton Realty, Washington County Mental Health, Linda French, owner of Sidetracks, Ypsilanti Township, Puffer Reds, those are our gold sponsors. Our silver sponsors are Avenue Dental, Mr. James Lee, McCoy and Associates, Masonic Lodge Number 13, Paul Burns, Attorney at Law, Edward Jones, Rance Thomas, Edward Jones, Elisa M. McGovern, and Tracy Davis, those are our bronze sponsors. Along with Jones Cleaning Group, Washington County Parks and Recreation Commission, the Sheriff's Office of Washington County, Five Stones Digital, ITC Holdings, Ypsilanti Township Civic Center, Mary Kay Cosmetics, that's Angela, African American Cultural and Historical Museum, and Washington Community College, Golden Limo, and Ipsy Real. Now, Ypsilanti, Detroit, Ann Arbor, are you ready? Flint, Michigan, are you ready? So, Flint up in there, I bring to you. WJZD's own, my friend, Mr. Don Allen. Oh, I know y'all can do better than that. I've been sitting here talking to you. We've been here letting y'all know what's happening and paying homage to the man, Mr. John E. Lawrence. I love those words. Y'all need to put your hands together one more time for John E. Lawrence for making this event happen. He loves this community so much that he's put so much behind this community to bring you guys live, free, top flight, top of the line entertainment. So one more time, give it up for John E. Lawrence. That's what I'm saying. Once again, my name is Don Allen. I'm from WJZDRadioDetroit.com. 
We are the legacy of WJZZ. I was the last guy on the air at WJZZ. I was the guy they chose to sign us off, unfortunately. I left for a while, I went and did jazz in Houston and South Carolina. I am back now. When I came back seven years ago, they were like, we need jazz. And I didn't have $4 million. So I came up with, let's stream it. We can stream it worldwide, nonstop, 24 hours a day. And that's what we do. Go to your cell phone, your computer, your tablet, your iPad, and type in WJZDRadioDetroit.com and pull us up. Uh oh, we got a special invited guest, and I don't know if he knows that we know that she's out. Th he's out there. I understand, Mr. Ben Tankard is with us today. There he is, right there. I remember playing your stuff at JCC. Be with you, baby. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. So we ready? Okay. So, we rehearsed this before. Uh, Y'all gonna pay attention, it's gonna be a test after this. We rehearsed this before. Put your hands together, Southeastern Michigan, for the one and only jazz funk soul, Paul Jackson Jr., Everett Harp, and that guy right there, my hero, Mr. Jeff Lauber at the John E. Lawrence Jazz Series! Thank <laughs> you. 
How are you guys doing? Man, we are really thrilled to be here. What a nice evening it, it is. Mr. Everett Hart on the saxophone, Paul Jackson Jr. on guitar. He's one of the most recorded guitar players ever in the history of uh, recorded music, modern popular music. And uh, I'm Jeff Lorber. Thank you very much. That was called Serious Business, and we got uh, Cool song for you up next entitled Speed of Light. Thank you. 
you know, I'm kind of blown away at this point. <laughs> because we don't have anything like this in Los Angeles, where you can come out and hear some music every Friday during the summer and see folks and eat some good food and hang. This is amazing. I'm, I'm feeling a certain kind of way right now. It's like, wow, this is incredible. My name is Paul Jackson, Jr. I am blessed in the Lord and highly favored. I'm really happy to be here today. I saw Ben Pantankard backstage. Real quick story. He told me, break a leg. And the uh, funny thing is, when uh, in biblical times, Old Testament times, when the shepherds were keeping the sheep, they'd have certain sheep that wanted to, to stray away and do things. So what the shepherd would do is he'd take that sheep that kept running away, and he'd break one of his legs. And what that shep what sheep would do is, because he knew he couldn't run as fast, he would stay close to the shepherd. So break a leg. When you tell somebody to break a leg, it means stay close to the shepherd. <laughs> Quick story. Anyway, we are very happy to be here. Happy to be here with my buddy Jeff Lorber, my buddy Everett Harp. Put your hands together on drums, Mr. Tony Moore, Timo. And on bass, the incomparable, the incredible, Mr. Nate Kearney. I'd like to play a Jeff Lorber composition. This is a song called Montserrat.
Paul Jackson Jr. Paul Jackson Jr. The sexual chocolate. How you doing, Ypsilanti? How you doing? I don't know, they did a little rehearsal before we got out of here. I, I can't hear you back there. How you doing? All right. It is really good to be here. Thank you, Johnny Lawrence, for bringing us out and putting on such a wonderful night for us. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Good. My name is Everett Harp. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been here, and it's certainly, it's been a few years since we've been here as Jazz Funk Soul. I'm trying to remember, Paul, have you been here with Jazz Funk Soul? So the last time we were in the Detroit area with Jazz Funk Soul, or the time before that, was uh, with one of our original members who passed away about four years ago, four or five years ago, actually. Um, wonderful guitarist by the name of Chuck Loeb. And as Jeff mentioned, we're very, very fortun fortunate to have one of the most recorded guitarists in the history of recording. Paul Jackson choose to join us and keep this thing going. We have a new CD out, a new project that's been out. I say new, it's been out almost a year now. And uh, the song that we're about to play, I like to refer to it as the zombie single. Because it came out in August. Well, it was shooting up to the top 20, and then it started to peter out. And usually when that happens, it, it starts a, a downward spiral that continues. And so we said, OK, well, that was fun. But then it picked up again. And it got into the top 15. Then it started to peter out. And we were going, all right, well, we got a good run out of that, so that's good. Then it picked up again. And it got into the top 10. We we're like, wow, this is really strange. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. But OK, and then it started to peter out again, which was good. So we were moving on to the next single, talking to the record company about what would be the next song to go to radio with. And it started picking up again. <laughs> And then it went into the top five. Then it petered out for good. <laughs> but we had a good nine month run with, that, with this song, which is really kind of unheard of unless it goes straight up and stays up there for a while. So we had a lot of fun with this and we're gonna have fun with, you, with it with you tonight. A song entitled Hustle.
All right. You guys having a good time so far? We promise we'll pick it up for you, but we're going to keep it right around here for you on this next song. This is a song that I had the wonderful pleasure of doing with a, a very dear friend, my mentor, almost like a surrogate father in the business. Wonderful keyboardist, producer, songwriter, singer. And he passed away some 12 years ago. And it's not a day that goes by that we don't miss him or feel his influence on us. I'm talking about George Duke. We always like to give love up to George because we miss him so terribly. This is a song I had the pleasure of doing with George on my last solo record that came out some time ago, a song entitled Going Through Changes.
Shepard Harp on the saxophone. In the words of the, that famous movie, Coming to America, that boy good. Now, I, I don't want to get myself in trouble, so I got to give a special shout out to someone tonight. My, my cousin, Tony Hudson, she's here, and she brought about eight of her friends. I don't know where she is, but she's here, and I love you and appreciate you all. Call. There, I see you. I see you waving. There they are. Yep. Yay. Now, she is my mother's first cousin, but she's my age, so we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> right, exactly. We're going to do a song called Down the Road. Now, this is a song that went to number one at radio, thanks to folks like you, and it was written by myself and Mr. Jeff Lorber. And I used to really enjoy working with Jeff until, well, I guess a couple years ago, he won... He won the Grammy for Best Jazz Instrumental Solo. Solo? Album? Album. Best Jazz Album. Excuse me. It was 10 solos. It was quite good. So everything was great until then. And I used to go over to Jeff's house. We'd work on parts, and I'd put guitar parts down. Everything would be lovely. And so we started working on this song, and I put down some stuff. I said, what do you think? He said, well... He said, Paul, ordinarily, that would have been good. But I'm not sure that it's of the quality that a Grammy-winning keyboard player deserves. So after I cooled off, I said, OK, well, I'll try a little harder. So we went ahead and finished this song. This song is called Down the Road.
how you guys doing? So um, the next song we're going to do is a little bit like a song that uh, you guys probably know. It goes something like this. But it's not that one. This is, uh, this is a song that Everett wrote, and um, it's called You'll Know When You'll Know. Thank you. 
Nate Kearney on the bass. Nate Kearney. We're going to do a song now that is uh, our latest single from our latest CD. The CD is entitled After This Song. And it's doing pretty well going up the charts so far. And hopefully it'll just keep going up and not do the zombie thing. Have you enjoyed yourself so far? We're enjoying playing for you. I love the fans. It reminds me of being in church and when I was a kid, with the, we were talking about that the other day with the church with, I mean, the fans with John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy, and Martin Luther King on them. We used to sit there and fan. Anyway, you have to be old to know that, but uh, you guys are too young for that. <laughs> we're going to do a song now entitled Forecast. Thank you. 
Y'all still with us? Okay, good. Because I'm tired. No, I'm kidding. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, how you feeling? Every Monday, Monday sleep, right? Okay. I'd like to do a song actually written by Chuck Lowe for Everett Harp. This is a song entitled Monday Speaks. Thank you. 
thank you so much. Everett Hupp on the sax. Paul Jackson Jr. on guitar. Nate Kearney on the bass. Tony Moore on the drums. Really, um, Jeff Lover. Really enjoyed playing for you guys. Hope to see you again before too long. Thank you. You guys want to hear one more? One more. You sure? All right. Thank you. Good night. You sure I'm not hearing you out there? I think you want to go home. All right. We'll do one more for you.
Everett Hart, Everett Hart, Paul Jackson Jr. Jr. and Mr. Jeff Lorber on the keyboards. Jazz Funk Soul. Y'all give it up, Ypsilanti! Give it up! Y'all wanna see it again? Do you wanna hear it again? Let's see if we can get them back up here. Come on up here, Mr. Johnny. Put your hands together. This is what we need you to do. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna see if I can hold them a little bit. I'm gonna hold them a little bit. I'm gonna hold, I wish I was a preacher. I, I can get them a hold a little bit. Come on up here, Johnny. Mr. Johnny Lawrence, y'all give it up. Woo! How'd you like jazz funk soul? Woo! This is a, what I call a super band. Everybody in this band is a legend in their own, you know what I mean? And, and, and I'm so proud to, that, that they came and kicked off, uh, jump-started our jazz series. One more time for Jazz Funk Soul. Okay, hey, we're, gonna, we're still taking up uh, donations. Uh, the team is coming around. They got on great shirts. Uh, guys, come on out there, and if you want to donate and keep this going, this is how we can keep this going. People ask me, how can I afford to keep, uh, bring this caliber of, of talent here? And I tell you, it's because of you. This is our concert. This is our concert series, and we make it happen. Thank you very much. Put your hands together one more time for Mr. Johnny Lawrence. Yep. Don, man, what you think? Tell the folks, like, here, man, take the microphone, man. Y'all got to do it one more time. Because I didn't hear the people out in the back making no noise. And if you love what you heard, I want everybody to make some noise. If you like that, we've got some more. We've got some more. Guess who's coming next week? You don't know? Tell you what. Tell you what, you put some money in the bags while we bring it around, and then I'll let you know. No, I'm joking. Be here next Friday for my man, the baddest man on the trumpet, one of the baddest I know, Mr. Lynn Roundtree will be with us. Now, you got to say something about these awesome sponsors, man. My man Rick Starr is over there, and if they want to get investments done, insurance, retirement plans, Go talk to these people right there, right there in that, that big, pretty red tent. Go holler at them. They're going to be here. They are supporting us all concert long, the entire series. Once again, I'm Don Allen from WJZDRadioDetroit.com. And you can hear these guys on our station anytime, day and night. Just hit us up. Kyle Lamont, Foodie is with us. Gene Edwards is with us. Oh, yeah, we've got the big players, and we're playing with the big-time artists. Now you got, you, are you ready to let them know? Oh, but do your thing, bro. Here you go. Y'all give it up one more time for Mr. Don Allen. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Washington County Government, and our Community Foundation, Super Tracks Recording Company, Destination Ann Arbor, Rickstar, the Downtown Development Authority, OHM, University of Michigan Credit Union, Bank of Ann Arbor, Hinton Realty Real Estate Group, I'm gonna get that right next week, Linda French, owner of Sidetrack, Ypsilanti Township, Puffer Reyes Records, Avenue Dental, Granville Lee, Dr. James Lee, McCoy and Associates, Masonic Lodge Number 13, Paul Burns, Attorney at Law, Edward Jones, Rance Allen, excuse me, Rance Thomas, Edward Jones, Elisa M. McGovern, Jones Cleaning Group, Washington County Parks and Recreation Commission, Tracy Davis and Tracy Sweet Touch Production, Washington County Sheriff's Office, Five Stones Digitals, ITC Holdings, Ypsilanti Township Civic Center, Mary Kay Cosmetics, that's Angela, African American Cultural and Historical Museum, Washington Community College, Golden Limousine, Ipsy Real, Washington County Community Mental Health. We want to thank y'all for allowing our being yourself. Give, your health, uh, give yourself a round of applause one more time, and we see you right back here next week. Thank you for allowing us to be here.
Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Yeah. 